Hey Frank, can I speak with you for a minute? I am kind of in the middle of a little thing called work. Maybe you've heard of it. But, if you cannot wait, I suppose I have a second. Look Frank, I am on my way to a meeting so I don't have much time. Let's try to make this as quick and painless as possible. Basically, there have been a number of complaints from your co-workers about your abrasive behavior. I need this to stop immediately. Abrasive? I don't know what you are talking about, I'm not abrasive at all. Did Sally and customer service talk to you? You know what? She has been after me ever since I refused to taste her rice pudding at last year's Christmas party. Have you ever tasted that stuff? It's like eating a half-digested sushi roll. She really needs to back off. Look Frank, I don't have time for this. I don't care what justifications you have, I just want to see a change. Hey Stephanie, Josh from the Mead Group is on the phone and wants to know if you are still on for the tour out tomorrow. Sure, tell him I will be there at 11 a.m. sharp. Alrighty doodles. Now, what was I saying? I think you were in the middle of chastising me for having oversensitive co-workers. Frank, I don't need exaggerations right now. You know what I mean when I say you're being too abrasive. Please, just fix it now. Sure, boss. Whatever you want. Good. Hey, Andrea. Yes? Exactly what does abrasive mean? Abrasive? Um, I don't know. Why do you ask? Stephanie told me that I need to deal with my abrasive behavior and I'm not exactly sure what she meant. Well, why didn't you ask her what she meant? Because I didn't want to look stupid in front of the boss, you moron.